Aircraft maintenance engineering and aeronautical engineering, two big terms, often confused, but they are completely different paths. If you are a student wondering which career to choose or just curious how the aircraft fly versus how the aircrafts are built, then this video is for you. Both fields deal with aircraft, but their roles, responsibilities, and career paths are vastly different. In this video, we will break down everything from education and certifications to the job roles, salaries, and the future prospects. Stick around because by the end, you will know exactly which part suits you. An aircraft maintenance engineer is like the doctor of the aircraft whose focus on the inspection, repair, and ensuring the aerodynamics of the flight. They work hands-on with planes, helicopters, and jets, fixing everything from engines to the avionics. Their goal is keeping the aircraft safe and operational. Now, in case of aeronautical engineers, they are the designers and the innovators. Also, they develop the new aircraft, improve the aerodynamics, and work on advanced systems like the propulsion and the material science. Think of them as the brains behind the machines and the AMIs are the responsible for maintaining them. AMIs are hands-on experts. They handle the maintenance, repairs, and the aircraft certifications. While the aeronautical engineers, on the other hand, focus on the design, research, and development. One keeps the planes flying and the other creates the future of the flight. Now let's discuss about the educational requirements. To become an aircraft maintenance engineer or AME, you will need both technical education and practical experience. Usually from where you will be doing the course should be that country civil aviation authority part 147 approved, recognized by the regulatory bodies like EASA, FA, or DGC for India, CAF for Bangladesh. So you will enroll in two to three year program, usually a 2400 hours basic training course, which combines theoretical coursework with hands-on practical training on the real aircraft components. After completing your training, you will enter the real world, literally. You must lock actual maintenance experience under the supervision, often for one to two years. So throughout this journey, you must pass a series of technical module exams covering the topics like the avionics, propulsion, airframe systems, and regulations. Finally, you will submit a detailed logbook of tasks you have completed and proof of experience, which proves your competence before you are eligible for licensing. On certified, you are legally authorized to inspect, repair, and sign off the aircraft, holding responsibility for the flight safety. Now, let's come to the aeronautical engineering pathway. If you want to become an aeronautical engineer, your journey starts from your high school. Like you have to focus on your physics, chemistry, and math because these subjects are the core of everything you will be studying later. After high school, you will need to join the bachelor's degree program in aeronautical or aerospace engineering. And this is usually a four years course offered by the top universities and the engineering colleges. So in this course, you will learn how the aircraft works, starting from the basics and going deep into the subjects, like how the air flows around the wing in the aerodynamics, how strong the aircraft parts needs to be in the structures, how engines make the planes fly in the propulsion, how to keep the aircraft stable and in control in the flight mechanics, and how to design everything on a computer like in CAD or simulations. You won't just be reading the books, you will also spend time in the labs, computer simulations, and small group projects building the parts or testing the models. Many students also do internships at the aircraft companies, research centers, or space agencies during their studies. This helps you to understand the real world problems and gives you work experience. After getting your degree, some students go straight into the jobs, others continue with a master's degree or PhD to specialize in advanced areas like drones, rockets, or aircraft design. Now, you don't need a license to work as an aeronautical engineer, but having the certifications or experience in certain tools and software may makes you more valuable in the job market. Also, in short, the aeronautical engineering is about the understanding the flight and designing the future of it from very small planes to the spacecraft. Now, which one is easier, aircraft maintenance engineering or aeronautical engineering? Well, that depends on how you learn and what you enjoy. AME is more hands-on. You will spend time working directly on the real aircraft parts, fixing, inspecting, and troubleshooting. If you prefer practical work over theory, then AME might be easier or more satisfying for you. But it's not a shortcut. You will still need to pass the strict license exams, complete the training hours, and handle the real responsibilities while the safety is on the line. On the aeronautical engineering, on the other hand, is more theory-based and academic, and you will deal with a lot of maths, physics, and simulations. If you are good at problem solving, design, and computer-based works, this might come naturally to you. Also, however, the syllabus is broad and can be challenging for those not comfortable with abstract concepts and uh, technical design. In short, if 
you enjoy working with hands and being around the aircraft daily, then AIM is likely easier for you. If you are into math, design and engineering theory, then aeronautical engineer may suit you better. Both paths are demanding in their own way. The key is to choose what fits your strength and the interest. AIMIS perform tasks like engine overhauls, troubleshooting faults, and ensuring the compliance with aviation laws. A single mistake can ground a flight, so the precision is critical. The aeronautical engineering jobs are like the aerodynamic engineer, the structure design engineer, the propulsion specialist, and the flight test engineer. So these engineers work on the next-gen aircraft, drones, or even the space vehicles. They use the softwares like CATIA and SHIS or the CFT tools to simulate their performance. So in salary and the career growth, in Bangladesh, the entry-level aircraft maintenance engineers can earn around 3 to 5 lakhs per year, while the experienced AMEs can make over 10 lakhs annually. So monthly salaries usually range from 30,000 to 1 lakh and licensed professionals can earn even more. So aeronautical engineers start it around 4 lakh to 6 lakhs per year, also growing to 15 to 25 lakhs with experience. Top companies and specialized roles offer even higher salaries. Experience, certifications, and the company you work for all play a big role in how much you earn. So AME offers the quicker entry into the workforce, while the aeronautical engineering has the higher earning potential in long term but requires more education. When it comes to getting a job, the aircraft maintenance engineering usually offers a smooth path compared to the aeronautical engineering. After completing your AME course and earning a license from any CAA or EASA, you are directly eligible for jobs with airlines, MROs, and airports. Also, the demand is very steady and the job roles are well defined, making the placement more straightforward. Like on the other hand, the aeronautical engineers often face more competition. Like core design and research jobs are limited and usually require the advanced skills like software, simulations, and even the higher studies like MTech or MS. Without specialization, many graduates end up in IT or non-core roles. Now let's discuss on the future scope and the industry trends. The future looks bright for both aircraft maintenance engineers and the aeronautical engineers. For AMS, the demand is only growing. More planes means the more maintenance work. And with emerging technologies like electric aircraft and the AI-powered diagnostics, the job is becoming the more advanced and exciting. For the aeronautical engineers, the sky is no longer the limit. They are now the part of the space race. Now companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are leading the way. Plus, they are driving the future of the sustainable aviation, developing the hydrogen-powered planes, and using the high-tech composite materials. So no matter which path you choose, the future of the aviation is full of opportunity. So both fields are evolving first, the AMS will adapt the new technologies while the aeronautical engineers will redefine the flight itself. So which one you should choose? So choose AME if you love hands-on work, quick job and being around the aircraft daily. And you can choose the aeronautical engineering if you are passionate about innovation, design and pursuing the aviation's boundaries. Both careers are rewarding and it just depends on your strengths and the dreams. Now which path interests you more? Drop a comment below. If this helped, smash the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more aviation deep dive.